I guess on the bright side is that the oak pollen, which is most of the tree pollen that we're really getting inundated with right now, uh, that's starting to kind of come down a little bit too. Okay. Another tip, maybe install an outdoor shower, <laughs> help wash it off your body. I tell you, yard work can just really cover you in pollen. It's expected to be high again today as it was yesterday. Grass and weed pollen getting an early start this season as well. As we look ahead of your pollen count to today, we're expecting uh, similar conditions. Oak is the predominant kind of pollen, tree pollen that we have out there, followed by pine and mulberry pollen. Uh, by I think tomorrow, after some rain today, we'll start to see things settle down a little bit, at least in the weed pollen column, but it's going to remain high for a while. These warmer temperatures have really made the trees a lot more active and they're putting out uh, pollen in record numbers. We do have some scattered storms in today's forecast, including a chance we could see a few strong to severe storms later today. The uh, wind environment uh, really is going to be driven by how warm it gets today. The more instability we have down low, the stronger the storms are likely be today. We just don't really have the, the wind support that we've had the last few rounds of severe weather that we've had. Saturday looks drier. Uh, we've actually dropped the rain chance for Saturday. Yay! Mixed skies, dry and mild 70s in your forecast, but the rain returns for Sunday. So we got a little bit for everybody. Temperatures close to 80, 70s, close to 60 by Sunday, so a much cooler uh, setup to finish out the weekend. We've got some good uh, lightning. You can see it very clearly. A lot of it's over Tennessee. Some is in Kentucky. I think this this initial wave coming in will bring some storms to the mountains even as early as later this morning. Uh, that wave will cross through the area, fade some as it reaches the triad, but another round should come along the cold front uh, later in the day today, more toward evening. We've got cool air waiting in the wings, cool enough for much of the upper Midwest to see some frost or freeze conditions. We're talking temps in the 30s and 40s there this morning. You're freezing in Fargo. 38 in Kansas City, much milder ahead of the front. We've got a little bit of a cooler pocket of air, allowing temperatures to start mostly in the 50s this morning. We're at 50 in Boone, 57 degrees at PTI Airport, near 60 Mount Airy down to Lexington this morning. Uh, the risk area for severe weather today is pretty broad. It really stretches out from central Alabama all the way to southern West Virginia in the southern Virginia, but it does include all of our area. Again, this comes through in a couple of waves. I think that uh, at any given point, uh, rain chances peak at about 40%. That main window for strong to severe storms in the tri does not arrive until later in the day, mid afternoon onward. Temperatures uh, today likely falling just shy of 80 degrees. If we get to 80, that's six days in a row in April. That's quite unusual. Temperatures mid to upper 70s in the foothills today. Uh, chance for rain does begin in the morning with a few spotty showers, perhaps a thunderstorm. Uh, chance for stronger storms later in the day. Mountain temperatures upper 60s this afternoon. Not your best rain chances there. And that will start a little bit earlier as well. You can see it coming in as we take a look at our one of our models. Uh, storms coming in Western counties relatively early in the day, but they lose some intensity as they move into the triad. Uh, the more clouds we have, the less intense these storms are going to be today. Uh, that mid afternoon wave comes through, then another on its heels for the evening. This brings scattered showers and storms, especially for the western half. We should settle down after that. Maybe a lingering shower past midnight, but uh, we'll start to see some breaks in the clouds tomorrow. I'm expecting a really nice day heading into tomorrow. So looking at your weekend forecast, you can see how things are going to change really quickly. Uh, 60s and 70s tomorrow, but only 50s to near 60 for Sunday. High rain chances too. I've got us up to 60% now for the Piedmont Triad, and that rain will likely linger into Monday too.